Zach is going to uh, do his lasagna, and I'm going to be do be the helping helper. Lasagna is the only thing I know how to make. <laughs> so it's really good. Though. It's, we went to the store, and you get groceries there. <laughs> he never goes. <laughs> that is true. He went to the grocery store. They, I mean, they have food there, and you can just have it in your house. <laughs> People don't tell you that. I do. Obviously, I'm the one who does all the groceries. Well, yeah, I do they, Instacart. They no, not anymore. It's too expensive. <laughs> Three big boys eating here. It's a lot of food. <laughs> Anyhow. So, I usually make this kind of lasagna to where it's uh, ground beef. <laughs> <laughs> and sausage. With the tomato sauces. Such a huge can. Look at that. <laughs> and then, we also have the beef version because this one is allergic. I don't need pork. To pork. They're clean. Make sure you wash your hands when you make your face. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh gonna be fun. God. And this is what uh, goes into both of them. Oh, so. uh, Italian seasoning. Oh, nope. Italian <laughs> seasoning, parsley, basil, <laughs> or fennel seeds, basil, salt, uh, garlic, onion. Uh, onion. <laughs> We're gonna start mincing the onion. And then you, I mean, the pans. Like. <laughs> I'm sous chef, so I'm just gonna do my thing. do this. The more you the, the more you do it then it just it literally starts feeling like conversation. The onion so, like, like super minced like teeny or like is that okay or that's okay. Yeah. No, no that's fine. And you okay. say half a cup? Yeah a half a cup. And then I didn't do this actually seriously, so I'm gonna have to do it this way. So, technically, we're using a whole cup, right? Because it's two courses. Or is it half a cup for both? It's a half a cup for both. So, it's a half a cup in this one, and then a half a cup in this one. Half a cup for each, not for both. Yes. And then the garlic. A spoonful? Yeah. I mean, essentially, it's supposed to be two cloves of garlic, but we have this. I chose garlic because it's a lot easier. We do yeah. have the other garlic. It's just, you know, it's not my favorite thing to do. I've never had black garlic. You know, is it like chard? Or is it like I don't know. I just, I've heard about it on Bob's Burgers. <laughs> and I've never had that. <laughs> No, I have no order. I mean, is it supposed to be like, like, is it black as in like, I, like naturally? I, or do they do something to make it black? Maybe it's fermented. I mean, there is corn mushroom or it's black. A corn mushroom? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to saute this on a stove. <laughs> all right so while you're doing that then we will do all the seasonings and portion them out uh just to be efficient with time all the all the seasonings and all that do you put them in the in the meat or do you put them here uh we put it in when we did we get all the uh, everything made right. okay. up. Okay. Oh, so on the crock pot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. So parsley. So we're doing two tablespoons. 
for each of these, because this is doubled. We'll also post the recipe in that description if you wanted to do it. If you don't, I understand. So the other parsley is actually going into the ricotta cheese when we mix that up, okay. which is not yet. I am so awkward. <laughs> and then we have the two tablespoons of sugar. Does it matter what kind of sugar? Like it really kind of doesn't. Um, I I like more of the sweet sugar because especially if it's the mild sausage, the kind of sausage, because I'm just overset there. Doesn't make it as spicy. So you like brown sugar or like regular sugar? Uh, usually, usually brown sugar, but uh, regular sugar. Um, we're doing the cane sugar today. Okay, so this is almost ready. Okay. It's just sauteing, right? Yeah, just sauteing it, and then we will put the beef and everything in there. So should I just put both of these together then? Or no, this is no, for no, one no, and no. that's for one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's okay. for one and that's for one because we have to yeah. So I'll Because I don't want I don't want you to die. Um. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna do the meat on this one. Okay. Or the meat. Uh, the beef. The, the beef, the beef yes. Yeah. The next thing I guess if it's not that the deal. So you guys know I, I think I mentioned that in my little videos before I go to or we well yeah I <laughs> um I go to a um there's a Mexican market, or I guess Hispanic market, it's not Mexican, Hispanic market. And they have their own butcher there. And their produce is actually really, really nice, super fresh. And it's really, really cheap. Or I guess, I think it's probably one of the cheapest places to buy stuff right now. Especially for us here in San Diego. <laughs> Everything's a little passing. So, and since there's three big boys here that eat a lot of meat, I go to that place to get all of our meat. Because they, they cycle two or three times a week because, you know, also space, so we can't, we can't go to Costco and buy like a 20 pound bag, uh, pack of meat and just have it there. So I go multiple times a week to get all of our groceries and we have very limited space in a little kitchen as you can see. And, uh, so they already know me Kind of cool. But this voice, to save time, they went to our neighborhood grocer. Which is really expensive. But it's very convenient for, you know, when you need a few things. I hope you guys can hear me because I'm on the back. And also my braces. And my accent is just not. <laughs> It's a bit fun. Everyone can understand you. I wonder if they can or if it's just so They just don't. Well, you guys tune me out all the time, so it's just... No, I think that you just forget that you don't actually use your words. There's been numerous times where you've said, where you've said oh yeah, I told you that. I said something. And both of us are like, well, you really didn't. <clears throat> Well, so, I mean, maybe you, some of you knew, some of you don't, but I tend to talk by, to myself all the time. I think he's picked it up, uh, Zach has picked it up the most, because I'll be like, any random place, and I'm literally like talking to myself, I was like, 
He'll be mouthing I'm, words. What I'm going to do, <laughs> really mouthing words. So that is true. I, sometimes I do think I'm saying something where I'm like, oh, I got to remember to tell him this. And, and, you know, in my head I did. So it's, you know, it's still problem for not being able to read my mind. I mean, isn't that the problem for everyone, though? Uh, no, I know. We're getting better. I there's, forgot pepper. There's yelling. There's throwing things. There's... We've never thrown anything. There's... Oh, no, no, I'm not saying we do. I'm saying... Oh. No, no, I know. Like, I don't remember throwing anything. <laughs> we throw the cats, the <gasps> dogs. Never. <laughs> No, we don't. I'm joking. I am joking. I mean, the cats don't have claws, so you can't use them as weapons. They do have very good teeth. That is true. I think Jess has felt those a few times. <laughs> All right. So we're, we're browning the meat. Browning the meat, and then everything, and then we'll, all the seasoning is here. Ooh, one thing that you guys gotta gotta keep in mind for for us, especially because you know we're we tend to use really lean and like non-fatty meats. So when you're doing stuff like this, the, the meat doesn't you know separate. So you have to like move it a lot. This was as you can see, like this one's cooking faster than that one because this one has the pork in it. And it has excuse me, and it has more fat. But just keep that in mind. We always do lean meats. Now that you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's supposed to be the shy one, by the way. I am. I am shy. Yeah. <laughs> this actually has been the most relaxing year I've had in a long time. I kind of feel bad because I've been cheating a lot. My poor cleaner. Wow, for the. Like normally by now I'm like probably like half the body fat I have right now. My poor trainer is like, so are you ready to get started for your summer? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's April. He's like, maybe you should do a competition <laughs> so I can get my blood and gear again. It's probably not a bad idea. So I have a goal. I am lazy when it comes to the gym. I need something. It'll make me want to get up and go and do multiple workouts a day. You know, I'm older too. It gets harder. All right, so I think that one, so how, like, do you want it to be completely cooked? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has to be completely yeah, cooked completely before cooked. you put it yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's completely brown before you put it in the substance. Mm. Well, this one's a smaller, again, the curse of having a small kitchen. We have a friend in, uh, in where's Randy, in Austin? Houston, not Austin, we've never been to Austin. I always get them confused. And they have the coolest house and they have this massive kitchen that's just like my dream kitchen, but it's like bigger than our entire apartment. <laughs> so, you know, someday if we ever move, to the birds, I guess. We'll have one of those. What do you guys think? You guys like big kitchens, small kitchens, big cooks? Not really. I did it. Huh? I couldn't figure out the can opener while you were talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you figured it out, so that's good. I'm very proud of you. Jess usually just hands me things, but he can't do them. <laughs> Kitchen wise. <laughs> mm. I like how he's just trying to pretend like he's not the one filming. I know, right? He's so quiet. He's so you know, quiet. You, you know you can make comments. Yeah, you I'm focused on just making sure I film it while you guys enjoy your cooking moment together. <laughs> <laughs> The last time we did a relatively cooking thing together, because he does not like help in the kitchen. 
and was it the pies? Is the last time that we actually had so many pies. The Thanksgiving pies. The Thanksgiving <laughs> pies. Ridiculous. We had four. We did so many stupid pies. I was like, why are we, what am I doing? And four cheesecake. Pies. A cheesecake. <laughs> we did so much. The lime cake. The coconut lime. Yeah. Lemon meringue. And then the berry pie. And the cheesecake. And the cheesecake. But that was the last time that we helped him in the kitchen. Yep. And all I did was zest limes, and I didn't even do that right. Did I put that you know? I did. I, I mean, I, I just gotten used to cooking by myself, so it's a lot faster. If we did it more often, then, you know, we, we learned how to work together, so then that would be, that would be good. But, you know, since I do most of the cooking, but I like cooking. But that's my thing, though. Like, I actually enjoy making food and doing all those things. For most people, I mean, if it's not your thing, it's just, you know, it's something that you have to do. It's a chore. It's, yeah, it's like something that you have to do, like, like, or a sister-in-law that's coming over, she always, you know, she has a family and cooks and everything, but she's like, oh, I hate cooking, she doesn't like it. And she's really good, like, yeah, she makes cookies, cookies they were great, she made that uh, chicken, um, a dish that we had last time when we were there, and I mean, she's a good cook. She just she doesn't like it. It's more of a, I have to. I like it. I enjoy it. It's relaxing for me to do it. I do not enjoy cooking. I have very little patience for <laughs> anything. I mean, you guys were cooking when I when I uh, went to see my parents cooking multiple times. Zach was cooking. There was a lot of Uber Eats. I was making toasted sandwiches. <laughs> I made cereal. cereal. Yeah. <laughs> yes, when I woke up, I was like, how's cooking? It's like, good, I, I cook cereal. I'm like, hmm. I cook cereal. I'm not sure that's... <laughs> I attempted to do a quesadilla, but didn't work out. It did. Now, what's the thing that you burned, Jeff? The crisp? Cheese crisps. Cheese crisps. A cheese crisp. I have never heard of a cheese crisp until I'm in the chest. It's a known thing in Arizona. And I was like, what's a cheese crisp? And I literally thought that it was, that you were just crisping cheese. Like, you, you know, because in, in the restaurant thing, like, in restaurants, say, especially the fancy ones, like, they'll do the little cups of, like, Parmesan cheese, and they'll put them in the oven, and it turns, like, it browns, and it, it, it and it's, like, crispy. And they'll use it as, like, a little cup to, like, stuff it, or, like, a, you know, to make it look nice. And I'm like, so they're just eating like crusty Parmesan, you know, cheese shells. And then I realized when he showed me, it's like, it's a tortilla with, with cheese, basically. But it's like, but very little cheese. It's not like an actual quesadilla, which is like, oh, okay, that, that makes sense. And so I was like, okay, I learned something new. As you guys can see, it actually looks different, too. So this is the, the, the one that's all beef on the left. And this is the one that is mixed of sausage, sausage, and meat. So it is a little different. It has more fat, so it cooks a little better, but obviously, you know, the consequences are. <laughs> mm, more dry. Anyway, okay, I think it's almost ready. Uh, at least that one is. My cat. Oh, okay, well, your presence has been made known. Oh. You cannot join the kitchen, though. She's so cute. Yeah. Well, what happened is she smelled the meat. Every time we cook, she shows up. Okay, so that's almost done. So we're going to put all the tomato sauces and spices into crock pots. So... Mm -hmm. I should be honest, I am not used to the smell of pork being cooked. It's no sweet to me. Because you never cook not it. Not in a bad way, it's just I'm not used to it. Yeah, because I never cook it. Never make it. I, make, I mean, I, I cook bacon I, when you guys are doing breakfast. But. Well, but you also do eat the things that he's allergic to. <laughs> and it's terrible. It's okay, I have an empty pen. 
Okay, the only thing that I'm not, I'm still having a hard time with is pineapple. Yeah, and what did you do when we went to <laughs> Montana? You ate bacon and pineapple for breakfast. And then we're miserable the rest of the trip. <laughs> Skin rashes. It was horrible. You couldn't sleep. You were literally physically miserable. <laughs> Right, so I told you guys, like, I know, like, a lot of people, because uh, you know, anytime I tell someone that I'm allergic to pork, they're like, what? I've never heard of that. But I am allergic to pork. That was since I was a kid. That was actually been, it's actually gotten better. But when I was a kid, it was really bad. Like, I couldn't even have, like, like a hot dog, right? Which also, by the way, I didn't have a hot dog until I was, like, I think 13 or 14 when they started making turkey hot dogs. Oh. Because they didn't have, when I was a kid, there was, yeah. there was no turkey hot dogs or beef hot dogs, there was only pork. And I had it twice when I was a kid at my grandma's house and I had to take it to the hospital because of it. And after that, obviously, they found out I had a pork allergy, so I, I never had a hot dog until I was older. And then my pineapple allergy is because, and eggs, is because I ate that so much when I was like, when I started training and lifting and all that, because it was the only thing I could eat. And fruit was my, that was pineapple, so, I became allergic to it because I've had it for 20 years or more. I guess now it's like 30. Oh, oh. So yes, one of the pineapples is allergic to pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I find that ironic, but yeah. It is still my absolute favorite fruit. And once in a while, I'll, I'll still indulge. <laughs> well, in Montana, it was a drink, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. You drank a drink with pineapple yeah, in it on purpose. Pineapple. And you ate thick strip bacon okay, at a but diner. That, was, uh, the, that was from your mom, and that bacon was like I, I, I just saw it. I was like, that looks incredible. I, I cannot pass that. Uh, so it was worth a the <laughs> which I saw actually I didn't have an epipen. No, <laughs> no, you were miserable the entire the trip. Whole night, I remember. You're, you're, you had rashes all over your body and your skin was like bleeding. It was horrible. You couldn't sleep. You were irritated. <laughs> I felt bad for you guys. Yeah, you were not happy. <laughs> you were not, not, you were not comfortable and not happy. <laughs> you weren't horrible. You know, I was trying to be, I was, I was trying my best and you know, I was at your parents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but sleep deprivation is you're hangry and you weren't sleeping because you were so uncomfortable. Yeah, sleeping is my is my is my hangry. Like I can skip a, a couple of meals or maybe a whole day and I, I won't get angry when I don't eat. But if I'm tired and haven't slept, grouchy central. Yeah, I'm like this one. This one skips a meal and says he hasn't eaten in days. That one, not me. I don't have anything. Really. <laughs> huh. Always oh, very pleasant. Well, denial is the first thing that we have a problem with. <laughs> oh, so what I'm doing right now is just stirring up all the tomato paste with the tomato sauces. So it's crushed tomatoes, tomato sauce, and tomato paste. No, and not in a way you like. <laughs> That's not this channel. <laughs> you know, we have plastic things you can mix with, not forks on metal, on glass. <laughs> oh. oh. Well, I am a person of convenience. If something's accessible, that's what I do. So grumpy. I'm grumpy? No, this one. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm not grumpy. <laughs> okay, I think this one's done. Okay, yeah. So we can take that, the brown, let me put this combo. So this we'll is the, yeah. Let me go this way. Mm -hmm. So this is a pork and beef, which looks always looks a lot nicer when it's 
more brown when it's when it's got fat in it. <laughs> so I'm gonna transfer this this one. This so just one. stirring it in to the tomato. She's starving. She hasn't eaten in two hours. Yeah. So the little seasonings that we did before. I'm gonna put this in with the mixture. I like to do half, stir it in, and then do the other half. So it spreads more evenly. So this is the one that's all beef. It's a little more pale. More pasty. It's still better than turkey. That's true. I did get the 93% lean. Wow. So we are going full fatty meats. 93%. So it's only 7% fat. When, when you're cutting, it's gonna be into tools. So you're, we'll, show you, and we'll show you guys later, because a lot of you ask us to like what we do for diet when we're cutting and all that. And people sometimes think that's like, you know, it's, it's a really lean meat. But if you truly want to cut and you start adding like the fats and all that, it's a lot. We even realized that when we were taking like our protein drinks and all that, it's like, oh, this is, you know, it's a protein drink and it has carbs in it. And then, when you're supposed to eat less than 100 grams of carbs, remember when you're doing your protein shakes? Just the protein shakes alone had, had all those carbs. So you have to switch proteins too. What is that for? Oh. It's good, because my stomach is now growling. <laughs> <laughs> it's making me hungry. And see obviously how, it's making nice the it cat is? hungry it's too, because so she keeps coming out from her afternoon nap <laughs> she's smelling all the meat she's literally right here hi what's wrong she's like i want the meat i smell it <laughs> okay so this one was the beef this is the beef okay so we'll then, after we mix everything, we're going to put it in the crock pot. And we're just going to let it simmer and be on warm for about two, three hours. Just to uh, get all of the tomato and meat and seasonings all together. And it'll be delicious. So just remember which ones the beef and which one's the pork. So I'm gonna do beef is gonna be on the left because it's mine and I'm left-handed. That's how I remember things. Good idea. So left, beef, right. Well, the, the silver one is the beef and the black one is the sauce. Left is the beef. Because <laughs> that's mine. So there's no pork. It's going to mine. this on low and then every now and then just stir them and that's it. Yay. All right, we'll see you guys in two or three hours. Ooh. So, <laughs> the meat has been marinating for about three hours now. Gonna get the ricotta cheese. I also have some cheese right here. Oh, no. <laughs> there, <there's... laughs> mm, this is my apple. Okay. And then an egg. Where's my egg? <laughs> no. <laughs> You're gonna make it. You're gonna put shells. What? In let it. let me. I can do this. What if I need? Just kidding. <laughs> And then it's just gonna be a thing. Mixing it up with the rest of the basil. 
Okay, that one's you, good. You, that was the third one you did separate, right? The basil? Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, yeah. You just whisk it? Yeah. So if you have a whisk, you can do it like I do, or or a, a, spoon. a spoon if you're an animal. Mine seems to be whisking up pretty well with the uh, spoon. You started before I did. <laughs> Now that it's been whipped. <laughs> Whip okay. Is that a pitch perfect reference? Thank you. You got a movie reference. I'm so proud of you. It's one of the only ones yeah, I remember. I know. He knows two. <laughs> Are we done with the way? Yeah. Okay. So, since this is, you know, the lasagna pan, but we're making two. And. We don't have another pan. We have one glass pan, so. so my lasagna is going to be cool. Oh. Easy cook spray or whatever it's called. What's it called? Oh, do you want to do it? Do I not do it right? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm assisting. So this is like the stuff your, your assistants do. Oh. I don't trust anyone, so I don't have any secret. Um, okay. Cheese. Wait, did you just at the bottom? No, I'm just getting it ready. Okay, I'm your assistant, so let me go. You, you keep giving instructions. Oh. So, I do the onion ready lasagna noodles. So that way you don't have to boil it or bake it or anything. And then we will get the meat sauce. Did you guys mean to be matchy matchy for dinner tonight? Yes. <laughs> Did you forget you're wearing the same shirt for dinner tonight? I, I have to go to the Apple store and and this is, it matches my sheet. Red, though, and it happens. <laughs> so, this is, this is the sausage one, and then that is the all beef one. Oh, it smells so good. It smells delicious. So, so you put so that one's yours. So you put some in the bottom. Yes. Yes. And then this one's the one he can't have. The regular yep. one. The I'm regular one. No, you're gonna have skin problems and allergy issues. I'm gonna stab myself. Uh, we were a little too preoccupied, so we didn't get the dishes done. In between. And then a cup of sauce. Yeah, so do a cup of sauce on the bottom of them. <laughs> bottom. A saucy bottom. Is that what you are right now? A saucy bottom? You can't say that. That's inappropriate. That's inappropriate. Well, you're the one that said saucy bottom. Saucy bottom. He meant that this, you. You, you took it into that level you, yeah. of inappropriateness. Shame on you. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, well, guess you won't be matching at dinner now. <laughs> I told you I was going to get dirty. Well, it's fine. You can have a different that's, shirt that's, for dinner. That's enough. That's enough. Too much. You said a cup. Yeah, but then... You have two pans, oh, remember? <laughs> that's true. So maybe I should do half. You have two small pans instead of one large. <laughs> See, I don't do technical, I just guesstimate. Because, you know. It still turns out fantastic every time I've had it. I guess that's the difference between you. 
a novice and an experienced professional. So my pan is nine inches. <laughs> no, I think it's eight. We'll have to measure it in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to put the noodles in. So you layer meat sauce, noodles, and then the ricotta cheese, and then the uh, mozzarella. mozzarella cheese, and then the parmesan. This is what we want. And then the ricotta cheese. So in my version, you have to cut them. Like so. In your version. Like your round pan. And I hope there's enough room for the in the oven for both of them. Yeah. Or all three well, I mean, we just have there to, will be. We just have to make sure that um there will be. The big one makes it or I mean we can at least make one. Like one of the round ones and one of this. The only thing is it is going to be cooked differently because you have a metal one and you have a glass one. So keep that in mind, if you do decide to do what we're doing, temperatures are going to be different. And then, so after you put that on top, then you put the mozzarella and the uh, parmesan on top. And it's just like a little layer, right? Not yeah, yeah, nothing crazy. Don't get crazy. Don't get crassy. But you want it evenly distributed, so you know you can taste all the layers. This this isn't some wild, crazy. You know, it's just slop everything together. I slop everything together because that's how things should go. Slop together. Because you're a sloppy bottom. <laughs> you know, I was saying that you should make comments. Maybe you should. Like, <laughs> now you want me to be quiet behind the camera? Maybe you should, be quiet for the Maybe rest you of should just be silent. A silent film. Ooh. All right, so it was this and then the chip. Yep. Oh, this one first. Parmesan and then, or mozzarella and then parmesan. Wait, I wonder if you could use the other cheeses. Well, yeah. The ones that we use for the quesadillas? Yeah. They have to, more flavor. Yeah, I used to do, what is it, the triple one? The, yeah, this one has like Asiago and... Well, it has really good flavor. It's just yours without the sausage is, that is some of the flavor of the original one. Yeah. Only beef makes it not have as much flavor. And I'm sure you could pick stuff that has, like, right? Meat that's spicier, too? Yeah, yeah, you can. Or, like, an eggplant if you're vegan. <laughs> an eggplant. <laughs> Just stuff you want. Lather and repeat. Yeah. Lather and repeat. Fill it up. Pass needed. Where is that from? Filled to the bar, uh, friends. Oh, good job. You guys are the generation of friends. We're young. I'm, I'm too young for that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure people said that I didn't look older than 35. <laughs> huh. It's because of the Botox. It's because of the Botox. <laughs> Botox and filler and plastic surgery I've had. Oh my god, they're really going to think I'm there, yeah. I know, so you say that and then people are going to think you actually have. <laughs> be like, I knew it! I knew it! He's only had Botox, no surgeries or anything. <laughs> We're not there yet. I am getting, getting some, you know, respackling done soon. Oh yeah, respackling re done? Have, I got to redo my, sh my, uh, my roof. Needs <laughs> shingles, and I gotta redo some plumbing. Plumbing. The foundation is just. Your plumbing's broken. Your plumbing is broken. <laughs> Maybe not plumbing. 
<laughs> huh. I didn't know your plumbing was broken. <laughs> My plumbing is not broken. I haven't had any complaints yet. I'm certainly not complaining. Meat here. I do like meat. I like it a lot meat here. Oh yeah? Mm. You, did you double up on your meat then? Um, well, yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> a double portion. A double portion. <laughs> uh, inappropriate. Zach needs twice the meat as everybody else to keep himself happy and full. I mean, he's a big boy. He requires more meat. Are you turning red? No. <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> you are a terrible liar, which is very cute. I've always been a terrible liar. So after you're done assembling it, you want to cover it in aluminum foil. What's the oven set at? Uh, 375. I'm sure we're going to get a lot of lovely comments from what we're doing. Oh yeah. Keep it to yourself. <laughs> yeah, no one cares. No no one's claiming <laughs> that we're professional. This is not a professional chef kitchen here. This is home cooking for the pineapples. <laughs> this, is, this is literally just the only thing I know how to cook. So if you have any comments or questions about it, you can visit www. Here's a wall. Shush. 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 <laughs> but if you like to comment what your favorite dish is or what else you would like us to make, so you guys know my specialty is Italian desserts, which I don't make very often. I'm surprised we've gotten most of them at this point. Well, and your mother I just gave us a cookbook of all yeah. her recipes, I family yeah, recipes, yeah. so. Yes. I think what the next meal that we should do is California burritos. Oh, yeah. Those are so good. They are. Your California burritos are the best. It's literally I hate really eating nice. them at the I mean, restaurants. Everywhere else is awful compared to yours. They're better than all the restaurants. They are. They, well, I mean, I, I honestly will say that part of the reason is that... It's the fries have a lot to do with it. And since obviously I'm only making, you know, for us, having, having the fries just coming out of the uh, air fryer and putting them in the burrito as you're making it, it, it makes a huge difference, I think. Because yeah. they're crunchy and they're... Yeah, but also your meat is like, I've been to some and the meat's kind of too chewy. Well, well, or like yeah. the quality of the meat you use is really good. Yes, so that's, I guess your, at the end no, of the day... No, your burritos are, they're fantastic. I use curly fries from Arby's. He, he always thinks it's ridiculous that we want him to make them again because we ask for them so it's, often. It's, all, I, all I do now is California burritos and, and quesadillas. Because they're Stay delicious. Quesadillas. We love that's them. That's literally like, great. I don't know how to make anything else anymore because that's all I can remember. <laughs> they're delicious. They're amazing. But I am flattered that they like the food. We have garlic bread to cook in the oven as well. Maybe we can do well, are we doing ice cream? Is that what we're saying we're doing? No, we said that for the zoo. Yeah, that's for the zoo. We're going to the zoo. If you guys haven't tried the zoo when you visit San Diego, one of the things that I recommend that you always do is the zoo. However, which is hard to do when you're, when you're visiting, pick one section of the zoo and enjoy that. The zoo is gigantic. We actually have uh, gear passes, and it is literally taking us like, what, five or six times? And we haven't seen the whole zoo yet. So if you have an animal or a section like the felines or whatever, like pick that and enjoy it because if you try to put everything in, it's exhausting and you're tired and angry and cranky and- Go so see the snow leopards. They're cute. Yes, I mean, you're like cat, yeah. But, I like the gorillas, that's my favorite animal. 
And supposedly the pandas are coming back in 2024. This year, the San Diego Zoo is supposed to be getting its pandas back. We hope it's true. We'll see how things go with China. <laughs> so now we're gonna cook it. <laughs> it's 375, uh, 25 minutes with the aluminum foil on and then remove the aluminum foil and uh, 25 additional minutes after. You have to wait a whole hour? Yeah. Wanna eat now? I know, I'm starving. Can you put it in the microwave? Sure. No. <laughs> um, I, yeah. No, that's fine. Go, 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 go. Because the heat is coming out. I wouldn't put it so close to the... Well, he has the other one, too. I know, but that's fine. We can do that one later. So 25 with the foil on, 25 with it off. Yes. You know, you hold the button, it goes by 10 minutes. I don't know. Huh. <laughs> and we will see you guys in 50 minutes. <laughs> You did so good, baby. Uh, and it's done. Woohoo! <laughs> mm. Delicious. Ooh, my round cakey one. Ready in time for Sunday dinner with the family. Praise to God. Praise, <laughs> praise something. Praise lasagna. Praise lasagna. <laughs> All right. And that's, that's it. See, it was only a quick six and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's going to be delicious. I'm excited. You can move. Delicious. <laughs> the money chop with your first slice of cheesy lasagna. Let's see it. The first one. Ooh, delicious. Now we get to have lasagna leftovers all week. It's so good. <laughs> Lunch for Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. I think it'll be gone by Wednesday. Yeah. It's so cheesy. 